Hello, my name is Bob Langies, and in this video we're going to talk about the new AdTran NetVanta 1535P with ActiveReach. The 1535P is a managed 28 port layer 3 light switch. It includes 24 ports of gig Ethernet and then 4 SFP module ports to give you uplinks to whatever you need to uplink to. The solution consists of the 1535P with ActiveReach, the existing cabling plant that may exist at your customer or your own site, the active reach media converter and then the IP endpoint that you wish to use with the 1535P. What makes the 1535P special is its ability to use Ethernet and provide Ethernet with PoE over long distances. So in our examples here in a lab type or super clean cabling environment we could get 10 megabit of Ethernet with PoE up to 1650 feet with a single pair of cable and Four, with four pairs of cable, we could get 10, me or I'm sorry, 100 megabit of Ethernet with PoE up to 1,600 feet. Now that is lab environment or super clean, no disturbances and no crosstalk in the cabling. A more uh, typical production environment is going to give you about 1,250 feet of distance with 10 megabit over a single pair, still providing PoE over that over that pair. So real world examples with clean cabling you're going to be somewhere in the middle of those uh, two points and the switch will give you a, some feedback in terms of the level and quality of your links uh, so you know whether you're going to get the, if it's capable of doing the 100 megabit or 10 megabit over those distances. So now let's talk about some applications of ActiveReach. So here's a, a typical cabling plant in office type of environment where on the left hand side you have your normal switching environment so you have your PCs or servers, APs, that type of thing just using standard networking cabling but on the right side you have something that's a little bit different you have a patch panel so a 66 block or a 110 block then you have voice grade cabling so that could be either just standard twisted pair or it could be cat 3 or cat 5 whatever they use for the voice grade cabling and then some distance so that could either be things that would normally fall within the Ethernet standard or much longer like I identified on the last slide there. Uh, the active reach media converter and then the devices you may want to use. So the IP phone with a PC behind it is a typical example but you may have IP cameras or other PCs or, or devices out there, security system uh, related items that may be on the end of that cable as well. So you leverage active reach to traverse the cable distances that you need to with cabling that wouldn't normally handle voice but then someday you decide you know what we need an Ethernet network that does gigabit well because the 1535P is a full Ethernet switch and not just a, an Ethernet extending technology uh, that's no problem so you just basically use good cabling so the things that fall in within the Ethernet standard and you're able to run gigabit to each of one of those 24 ports on the switch Another application here is using a single cable like a CAT3 or a CAT5 cable that may be run to an area that's difficult to run cabling such as a cube farm, uh, somewhere through a historic building, somewhere behind an expensive finish such as plaster, uh, maybe some riser pairs that are in a, a multi-story building. But the idea is you're able to take that, that cable, split those pairs, and you essentially get a 4 to 1 ratio of devices to the cable when you take say a CAT5 or CAT3 cable and you split out each of those pairs you could deliver 10 megabit Ethernet with PoE to each of those devices over that one pair. So a four to one split is possible. And then of course the, the highlight of the 1535P is the, its ability to go extended distances. So when you have your house plant cabling, your PBX patch panel or 66 or 110 block, uh, you're able to go longer distances. A common example would be a warehouse type of environment. It always seems that the telco pulls in their DMARC location way in the back of the environment and then there's either a 50 pair or a 100 pair bundle of cable that stretches to where the network center is or where the telephone system was previously. So a nice thing that we could do is we could split off pairs, either a single pair or four pairs, and you could run active reach technology and run Ethernet across that long distance of cable. So some key features to remember is that the switch supports its gigabit Ethernet. It'll support 10 megabit and 100 megabit Ethernet with PoE over a single pair or four pair of wires over long distances. Uh, it triples the Ethernet standard distance reach, right, up to 365 meters. And then just remember, too, that in addition to being a, a range extension 
technology. It also really is a true gigabit Ethernet switch, so you're not limited to uh, just using this for the uh, purpose of extending the technology. You could also use some of the ports, as many or as few as you need, just to be regular gig Ethernet ports. And at some point, if your cabling infrastructure is upgraded, you could use all the ports for gig Ethernet port, and that protects your investment really well. So, in summary, extends power of Ethernet, just like we talked about, enables all sorts of Ethernet applications, such as voice over IP, IP cameras, Wi-Fi, and video. Supports a variety of endpoints, anything you may want to see uh, up to the 15 watt or so uh, power over Ethernet standard. Uh, provides a really great path to full gig Ethernet when you or your customer needs it. And, of course, it's backed by AdTrans world-class support and a limited lifetime warranty. So if you're like me, you may have listened to this uh, description of the technology and thought, hey, that's great, but I'm not sure that that's going to work. So let's take a look at an actual demo system that shows the active reach traversing a 1,000-foot spool cable and powering a phone. So this is our demo equipment setup here. You can see the 1535P. You can see our 66 blocks, some voice grade jacks, our active reach adapters, and then finally our endpoints, an IP phone and a wireless access point. Now to the front of the 1535, you can see that we've done a substandard cabling job here in terms of using some standard cross-connect wires, crimped onto some RJ45 jacks, and we use that cross-connect wire and we run that up to our 66 block. We've taken that cross-connect cable and we've gone to a 66 block, and we've done a cross-connect with just some standard bridge clips there, and we have two pairs of wires that are going to go off into our 1,000 foot spool of CAT3 cable that we have sitting here on top of the switch. And we go through that 1,000 foot spool of cabling and then we come out of that and we connect to two standard voice grade jacks with screw terminals, so the old school green and red wires. We go to another length of cross connect wire with some RJ45 on one end and RJ11 on the other to the active reach connectors. And then on the far side of that we go to standard ethernet cables, standard ethernet patch cables. And from that point, the signal gets passed down to our phone and our wireless access point. And as you can see, that uh, those are both powered up and working just fine. So in conclusion, what I've demonstrated here today is the ability to take an AdTran Vanta 1535 switch, connect it to cross-connect wire, run that cross-connect wire to a 66 block, use some bridge clips, connect 1,000 feet of Category 3 cable, connect that back to some voice grade jacks old school with some green and red wires and screw terminals over another length the cross connect wire to the active reach media converters and then with a standard patch cable connect up an IP phone and a wireless access point and everything works just as it should thank you so much for watching